Morning everybody. So um, I'm on the end of week 11, but this, this video is going to be in three parts. Um, the first part is going to be where we received our um, green dinner table box last night and I emptied it all out and I put it on the bench and I just want to show you guys exactly what you know how much food's involved in that so i will be inserting that first the second part of the video is going to be about you know how i'm feeling and how i'm going with the weight loss and and the weigh-ins etc etc and then the um the last part of the video and i've put it at the end because you can choose to watch it or no is whether um is about the situation that I've got here where I live with the neighbour across the road and the latest update with that. Like I say, I did say on my last video that I wasn't going to talk about it anymore, but there's been a couple of little things and um I just want to get it off my chest and I chose to put it at the end of the video so you guys um you have a choice, you know, whether you watch it or no, you can just not watch it if you don't want to so i thought that would be easier so first off i'm going to insert the um the green dinner um video footage now so here we are this is um typically what you get when you get the green dinner now this is a five day plan for family um it's usually a family of probably four or maybe three small children and two adults but um so we've got the bread, um, we've got some uh, tortillas, fresh herbs, carrots, spinach, um, Chinese, nice big cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, tomatoes, cucumber, we've got some spices, garlic, ginger, etc. This is just giving you a quick rundown on what, um, what your meal plans are. This is not the menu, you go online for the menu. Here's the noodles. Um, we've got potatoes and the potato bags are colour coded so we know which ones to use for which meal. Three lots of mushrooms, all those onions um, and we've got some spices and rice etc here in these bags. This is all the sauces and stuff and it's great because I can see you know if there's any sugar in there so looking at that. La, 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 la. no sugar so I can have that um, so the chili peanut pate no sugar in that so I can have that so so it's good you know I can see if there's any sugar in that then we got the frozen stuff here which is um, I think this is tempura so this will go in the freezer we've got endermine beans and tins of beans and all these tomatoes so it's quite a lot of food um so for i think it was 159 dollars for all this food and like i say this lasts us for a minimum of 10 nights um more probably around um well it's definitely 10 nights and you know lunches for my husband so it's good so because we're making it last longer we'll probably freeze the bread um, but the rest of it will be fine. You know, this is in the freezer. Tin's fine. This is okay. There's no meat in this, so most of it will last. Um, the mushrooms will go in the um, in the fridge, and yeah, this will all last really, really well. And what I'll do is I'll use the men. I'll do the menus, things that I think are not going to last. You know, for the fortnight, I will use up that those goods first. So yeah, so it's very exciting. So. That gives you some idea of what we're going to eat over the next couple of weeks. Looks a lot, doesn't it? But it's all healthy stuff. All really healthy. So as you can see, it's it's a fair amount of food. It's all good stuff. And um, yeah, so we'll be making all our lovely delicious meals with that this week. So let's get down to the numbers. I've had to write them down um, because I don't hold this in my head because I think, oh, you know, I don't want to obsess over it and, you know, make sure I'm getting certain weight loss as much as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. So this last week, I've managed to lose 1.8 kilograms. I've no idea how it was that much um, because I've... I've not really changed anything. Um, I did have a couple of wobbles with cheese. I've told you before, cheese is my nemesis. And um, I did have a couple of blocks of cheese. Um, me and the dog shared it. <laughs> it always makes me feel better if I share it with the dog so I don't get to eat the, the big chunk that I've cut off for myself. 
Um, and um, so now I've I've lost a total of 15.3 kilograms. So I'm halfway in my sort of goal that I set myself at the beginning, which was 30 kgs in total. Um, it's a loose goal. It's not a goal that I have to reach. Obviously, I would like to reach that because I think that will be a much more healthier weight for my frame. I've got a small frame and I am only five foot two in old money. I think it's 1.53 in, in metric size. Um, so I feel that I do need to be a lot lighter than I am. So I'm going to stick with that 30 kgs. But if I don't get there, I'm not going to stress about it. I feel much healthier. I'm able to move about a bit more. I do get aches and pains. I'm 57 years old. I'm bound to get aches and pains. Um, and, you know, my own knee plays up and my back's been playing up lately. But, you know, at the end of the day, I feel so much better. I'm able to move. I'm able to, um, you know, do a lot more physical stuff. I feel that my physical strength has come back as well. And, um, and I've got a lot more energy, a lot more energy. Um, so this last week's been a little bit of a funny week, as you know, with him across the road. Um, but so whether I, I ate less because I was ruminating on that or whether I just, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I had the meals the same as normal. Um, I've sort of got into a more of a routine around my lunches. I do tend to stick to the same breakfast and the same sort of lunch every day. Um, so maybe, maybe that's, you know, that's it. I've, I've no idea. But whatever I'm doing, it's working. I'm not starving hungry. I'm not, you know, um, I think when I do get the urge to eat something or that I want something, it's not an actual hunger. It's more a habit. Um, or a stress eat thing, you know, and I need to, I need, that's the bit I need to break. It's like, you know, I, years ago, years ago, I smoked and it's very much like that. You know, you, you, you picked up your cigarettes and you smoked your cigarettes. And a lot of the time it was purely out of habit, um, more than, um, craving for one. So, um, I suppose it's a bit like that. I've, also notice that my sugar, I mean, I can instantly taste sweet things and what's got sugar in them. Um, what was it? My my husband brought home something the other day. Oh, it was one of the green dinner little um, mixes, you know, uh, sauces that you put with a thing. And I just put my finger in it and tasted it without reading the lid. And I said, oh, that's really sweet. And I looked at the lid and sure enough, it had sugar in it. So I didn't have that on my, me on my meal. I, I avoided that. So... Sugar free is going very, very well. Um, I have had a couple of um wraps and they've got sugar in them. So I suppose you could say that was a bit of a cheat. Um, but I had that once. You know, I had two wraps and I had it last night for my for my main meal. And um it's what I bought and I didn't realise it would have sugar in. In fact, when I went to the supermarket um the weekend and i looked around i just everything i'm just so shocked at how much how many foods have got those and i'm talking processed sugar here i'm not talking um natural sugars um how much stuff has got added sugar and you really don't need it you know it it it's it's bad um so i'm I haven't had meat. I haven't had meat for some time. Um, so, and I don't, I don't miss it. Um, you know, and if I was to get, if I went to anywhere and somebody cooked or whatever for me, I would eat it. I, you know, I don't, I'm not a staunch vegan, you know, where I can't eat any animal products. I'm, I will eat it, but I prefer to stick with this particular diet for now until I get to, you know, my 30 kgs. So yeah, um, the oh, and the other thing I noticed was um, I've started putting clothes on that I've buried, you know, way down in the pile that now fit me. So the top of the pile is now too big. So I've started got I've got quite a pile now ready for the charity shop. So I'm going to make my first charity run with my old um, larger clothes, so somebody else can enjoy those because some of it is is nice clothes. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, so that feels really good. I'm sort of 
getting rid of the old larger clothes so that's another step in the right direction and my husband bless him he said to me would you like me to take some of it in for you dear <laughs> Men won't understand that, uh, no, <laughs> I just want to get rid of it. Um, I have got a lot of clothes, so it's not like, you know, I've got a shortage of clothes because I, I haven't. But I said, oh, um, thank you anyway. But no, that's fine. I'll, I'll you know, I'll just get rid of it. <laughs> they, just, they just don't understand. So their brains think differently than us, than us. <laughs> so... Um, so anyway, that's fine. So, <coughs> excuse me, still got this wretched cough. Um, it's getting a, <coughs> a lot better. Um, it, it's more when I talk, you know, if I'm talking for length of time that it, I start to cough, get a bit of a dry throat. But I've got my gastroenterologist appointment tomorrow where I have my thing done, my camera down and have a nosy around in there. And then hopefully um, he'll you know, suggest, well, my doctor seems to think he's going to, yes, you're going to have surgery. So um, hopefully, and a simple procedure apparently. So hopefully I'm going to get that done. And then, um, you know, that's going to solve um, some of the problems around, you know, the stomach issues that I'm having. Um, so yeah, so that's everything on the, um, on the weight loss program so far. Um, it's still going okay. I'm not struggling. Um, like I say, a couple of times in the week, I think I'm allowed that. I do have some gum here. I can chew gum. And like I say, I had a couple of um, cheese wedges slip-ups, <laughs> shall we say. But, you know, it is what it is. So if you don't want to hear the next part of the video, um, I'll say bye for now and thanks for watching. Um, because the next part of the video is going to be about the situation across the road and what's going on with... Um, with the neighbour. So, the neighbour situation. Um, it's all been fairly quiet on the Western Front, shall we say. There's been no incidents apart from on Saturday morning. Um, was it Sunday morning? No, I believe it was Sunday morning. Um, my husband and I went for a walk. Well, I went out first and I went down towards the river. Well, we haven't been down towards the river for some time because it's it has been quite muddy down there, but it's dried up enough now to walk down there. So I went down towards the river, me and the three dogs and walking along, that's great. And then I got down to the end, turned around to come back and I saw this person coming down on a quad bike and immediately my heckles are up. I'm stressed. You know, I get, I feel myself tensing and thinking, Who's that? Because, you know, he goes around on his quad bike quite a lot. And then I, it, as it got closer to me, I could see it was a red quad bike and he's got blue quad bikes. And I realised it was my husband on our quad bike, <laughs> which was fine. But, the you know, my initial reaction was because he would have trapped me down there. You know, there's nowhere to go at the end, only onto the riverbed, which is dried up now. But I didn't want to have that situation where, you know, he was getting that close to me. So... You know, it, that didn't happen, which is great. It was my husband, which is fine. And so when my husband caught up with me, that's fine. You know, the dogs were fine. So my husband said, oh, do you want to go back on the quad? And I'll walk back. And I said, oh, OK, then. So I got on the bike and I'm driving back up and I get to where the, it turns into the public road. And I saw him across the road come out of his drive in his car and he went up to his land where the original incident happened he turned around and he just sat on the driveway up there now I'm coming up on the bike he can see me you know it's, it's easy to see me he can see and Dexter was with me and Penny was in the front of the quad she sits in a little box in the front of the quad so I got up to the end of the path before I went on to like the public road bit he sat there I'm sat there and I thought What's he doing? Why is he just sat there? So I got off the bike because I realized I had my camera on at that point and I'll show you the camera. So I had to go and get the camera. So this is the little camera. It's a really nice little camera. I'll turn it on and show you. So I wear this now whenever, um, you know, when I'm out and about. So it's got a nice screen on the back. So obviously it's my hand. So as you can see, 
It's a great little camera. It's not a GoPro, but it's as good as. And it sits in a little case. Um, and I actually clip it to my lapel. I've got like a pocket and I clip it to my lapel and it films the whole walk. So it's great. So I had this on um, when I you know, when I saw him there at the end, just sat on his driveway. And um, so I got off the bike and I stood there and Dexter's with me, like I say, Penny's in the thing. And I don't think he could see that John was behind because I'm stood there and John's walking up the path behind me. And, and I thought, well, as long as you're going to stand there and look or sit in your car and look at me, I'm going to stand here and look at you because I'm not going to risk going on the public road um, with you in the kind of mood that you've been in recently. So I just stood there and stood there. With that, my husband came up, walked beside me. And at that same point, he decided he'd drive back. And he went back to his driveway and went up his driveway. Now, I can't see any reason why he would have done that you know i mean you could say he was going up to check his sheep he never does that he's ne until the incident with my um with the dog um he never did that you people got to rem remember that i have lived here five years and in that five years i have walked my dogs morning and night and I, I get, you get to know people's little habits. And I can tell you now, he has never done that prior to the incident with the dog. He's done it many times since, but he never did it before. So we can, or I can only conclude from that, it's an intimidation tactic. And whether he thought he didn't see my husband and he was doing it, and then he realized he was there with me and he just took off back into his, his property, I don't know. Because... Where I am at the end, I've got two choices to get back into my property. I can go I can go right and there's a gate down there, or I can go straight on and there's another gate there. Um but on each whatever choice I decide, I am on the public road at that point. Um so whether he was waiting for me to choose which way I was going to come back into the property and he was going to come down with his car. I've no idea. Who knows what's in his mind? Because the man is got a real vendetta now. And I think he's such an angry person that his anger is taken over. Like I've said to you, his reasoning brain. So this is going to be my evidence. If he does do anything stupid, hopefully I'll get it on camera. This will record, uh, we've got a, only a small SD card in here currently, but we're in the process, we're waiting for a new SD card to come at 32 gig. There's only a, I think it's a, a, a 4 gig or something like that in here. So when that comes, it will record, you know, hours of footage because um, it's whatever fits on the card. And then I transfer this footage onto my tablet here and then I can watch it. And if there's anything looking, anything looking suspicious, then I can keep that and that will be my evidence. It's also time and dated stamped automatically. So I don't have to worry about any of that. So um, that's what I'll be doing from now on. And I feel it's a sad situation. You know, like I said, I've been living here for five years or nearly five years. And up until the incident with Buddy, um, you know, I've never had any trouble. I've walked my dog morning and night in that time. And um, I've walked him off leads and I've never had any problems. And, you know, the fact now that I've got to be so tense, the, the walks have, are not enjoyable anymore. I used to love going out first thing in the morning, early in the morning and walking the dogs. You know, it's just wakes me up. I'd plan what I'm going to do that day. Now, all I can think about is who's coming and what's going to happen, which is sad, really. And I need to get that out of my head because me and my husband sat down and analysed it, you know, as much as we can. And we've come to the conclusion it's him with the problem, not us. But having said that, we have to be safe and we have to be careful. And I'm not going to let him take out one of my dogs, you know, and and it's. 
it's awkward at the moment because Ruby's getting on. She's coming up for 11 years old, so she's quite slow on the walk. She tends to hang way, way back. Dexter, who's two, is in the front. You know, he's ahead. Um, Penny, not so bad. Penny's normally walking directly behind me, but she stops, stops and has a sniff or goes to the toilet, you know, so I've got to keep watching her. So I'm afraid I've come to the conclusion that poor old Ruby's going to have to go on a lead. You know, she's walked all that time off lead and now she's going to have to go on a lead because I can't watch what's going on behind me and keep an eye what's going on in front of me. And if he decides to come out of his property like a bat out of hell, shall we say, I have got to gather Dexter, I've got to run back and get Ruby and it, I don't have enough time, you know, to get them safe, you know, because I can call Ruby and she does come, but it's don't, don't don't you know <laughs> at her own pace so um yeah so i do have a five meter extendable lead and um i'm afraid poor old ruby's gonna have to go on that she's gonna wonder what the hell is going on because you know she, like i say she's been off lead well she's been off lead since i've had her wherever i've lived because she's but she's always been an excellent dog so but now for her safety she's gonna have to go on the lead and that's sad really but you know you've got to do what you got to do to protect yourself and um and, and that's what i've got to do so but you know i'm not going to let him get to me anymore um i feel better now i've got the little camera and i can do the footage um so that's good so anyway so that's that so if you did watch this little portion thank you very much for watching it and um and i'll catch up with you next week around the weight loss and whatever okay thanks bye